very good morning from my first visit of the year here at Drayton Manor theme park located in Tamworth in Staffordshire. Now it's my second closest theme park to home, obviously Alton Towers being the first. So Drayton Manor is a park that I've been to since I was a kid. I always follow the developments down here and every year they always seem to make improvements to the park. So the first part of this vlog I'm going to look round, see what improvements have been made over the winter here at Drayton Manor. Uh, along with that I am just here on my own today but I'm going to get in some of my favourite rides such as Shockwave, Maelstrom, Apocalypse, Air Race, all the favourites and hopefully the ride lineup is going to be a little bit better than it was at the weekend. It only opened last weekend uh, and let's just say there was quite a lot of rides down what weren't finished that maintenance schedule. Today I'm hoping for a better day. I enjoy Drayton Manor, the sun is shining and I thought I'll nip down here today just before we head off to Port Ventura tomorrow uh, and come and see what changes we've got from around the park. So yeah, it's going to be a solo vlog, we've not done one of these for a while but we will see another familiar face from Theme Park Worldwide who just started working here and we'll catch up with him later on. Uh, I think he's going to be on the Drunken Barrels today so stay tuned to see who that one's going to be. Uh, everyone's working at theme parks this year. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be good, lots of changes to see around Drayton Manor. So we'll go around and have a look at what we can see. It's a weekday at the moment, so it is going to be quite a quiet day today. As usual, rides open from 10.30. There's a couple of rides that open a little bit later. So in terms of refurbishments, Drayton Manor are good at just making the park look really nice uh, and that's no different for this year. First thing I noticed when I walked in five minutes ago was Neptune's Amusements. Uh, that's had a massive overhaul there, they've completely repainted it, brand new signage at the top there as well. Uh, they've ripped off like all the little lights add on it and stuff, it just looks a lot nicer now uh, how it is. If we go around here, an even bigger refurbishment. Unfortunately, Pirates Adventure still remains closed for this year, and they've got the sign painted over there with the black paint. That's a shame to see, but it's good to see some work happen over here to the Dodgems. This has been completely redone. I mean, this turret was here before, but they've completely redone the rock work on that and painted it. And of course, on the side here, you've got these new little turrets coming off. You've got permanent lighting on there as well. It's one thing I love about Drayton, they're always thinking about you know, like when they're opening at night and Christmas and that sort of stuff. But this looks great. I mean, last year they did the inside of the Dodgems and they did all that and got rid of all the free radio stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is nice. I do like it. That looks a lot better. And obviously they did that last year. The queue line looks a lot better as well. And yeah, there you go. Lots of lighting as well. It's little things like this what made Drayton Manor. They do some nice touches. Lots has gone on over winter. Probably more this winter than any other year, actually, from what I've seen so far. Uh, but yeah, new facade, Dodgems Ahoy. So at least it's got a piratey theme. I mean, they've done a good job of that. I'd like to see, though, Pirates Adventure reopen again. One thing I have noticed, the little statue of a pirate, what you could have a photo without the front has gone for this year. So you never know. Maybe there still is a future for Pirates Adventure. If anyone from the park is watching this, I know a lot of the management team like watching our videos here. Because uh, I always love giving feedback on the park and what you guys do. I think you do a great job. But Pirates Adventure, let's get it back open. So, But yeah, this looks great. Look at the theming work, what they've done all down the side. If you sort of refurbish the rest of the park like this, then it'd be great to see. It's nice to see a bit of focus outside of Thomasland as well. Now, Stormforce 10 is undergoing a bit of a refurbishment at the moment. The biggest overhaul it's probably had since it opened. Uh, so I'm going to head over there now and have a little look at what's taking place. The ride's not going to be open until next month. It's going to be May that ride reopens. So let's go and have a little look. It's covered in scaffolding at the moment. There's a construction fence up. Let's see what work's been done over at Stormforce 10. So now we're a bit closer to Stormforce 10. Obviously, we can see they've put a construction fence up around there. I like the little stop sign they've put on there as well. That's quite funny. Uh, obviously, next to the lighthouse here, you've got the bridge. So anyone who's not been here before and, of course, been on Stormforce 10, uh, they won't know that that's actually the queue line just up there. So you actually come all up through the lighthouse uh, and then over this bridge and then round the back and into the station just there. And, of course, this is the final lift, what brings you back up into the station. Looks like quite a bit of work's been done there on the bridge. Is that potentially being refitted or is it coming out? I'm not too sure what's going on there, but but I'm sure it won't be too long until we find out, especially if they're hoping to get this back open uh, for May. Have a little walk around the corner. Could see Mouse drawn as well, one of my favourite flat rides in the country. Look at that, running well. Quite a few people who we know working here now as well. It's always good to come to Drayton Manor. It's got a really nice family feel. A bit of investment going in there as well. Another dryer. Grab a machine in there. <laughs> There's always stuff going on in Drayton Manor. It never stands still in terms of changes. Uh, I'd love to see them expand even more out of Thomasland though. It'd be great to see some more flat rides going, some more bigger rides uh, outside of Thomasland. And of course, maybe some work done to G-Force over the next couple of years as well. Just see more theme. I'd like to see them sort of show the themed areas a bit more. Of course, with this area here, it'd be nice to see a bit more fisherman style theme stuff. Okay, sorry, close for maintenance. Stone Force 10, hopefully they'll give the sign a bit of a clean up as well. I'm sure they will do that. Like I said, they're normally quite good at keeping things looking nice. Can't really see a lot of work going on around here at the moment. 
But yeah, I believe they're putting in some sort of new operating system on there, so it means that it'll be a lot more reliable. Reliability issues have been a problem over the past couple of years, so hopefully uh, it'll be a lot better once they get this open. Let's go and see what other changes we've got around the park. Of course, uh, Ben 10 Ultimate Mission Roller Coaster. Uh, believe it or not, that's five years old. You know, it's its sixth season now, and it's actually been rethemed for this year to Accelerator. Uh, so we're going to have a close look at that and see what they've done. Of course, it was the UK's first Vacoma Junior Boomerang Coaster uh, when it opened in 2011. And I thought it was a really good ride. I did enjoy it. Uh, we'll go over there and have a little look at what they've done in terms of theming uh, and changing that up around there as well. So I'm over here at Accelerator and the re-theme for this year of Ben 10 and I'm not too sure what they've done with the graffiti on the side just here. I can see what they're trying to do, I'm just not sure it works. If they wanted to go with like a hot rod style feel, I think it would have been nice if they just painted the walls maybe orange and red along the side. Uh, the track has not been repainted either and there's still quite a few bits of scenery at the top there which is recognisable. Uh, from Ben 10, but in general, of course, anything to do with that brand, that IP, uh, has been removed. Uh, got a bit of new audio as well going on. You can see the topper is still on there, up there as well, uh, but there's a new sound effect. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure on the outside. Hopefully, it'll get a little bit better when we move inside. Uh, it looks a little bit better in person, this, than it probably does on video, but I'm just not too sure on it in general. I think it would have been nice to have painted it maybe orange, but let's have a look inside the key line. Obviously, this before was all green. Oh, wow, this has changed a lot. Okay, I like these painting like traffic lights. So I can see the kind of feel what they're going for here now. Oh wow. They've actually done a really good job with the inside. New vinyls and stuff. They've recycled like what Ben 10 was. Like with the screens and that sort of thing. But they've turned a bit like a car workshop if you like. All mechanics, these look better blue up the top though. It's a lot brighter in here, that's the first thing to notice. But in general, that looks quite a bit better, actually. I'm surprised. Just the exterior, I wasn't too sure. I've not really seen any pictures from the inside. Obviously, with the park only opening the other day. This is loads brighter down here. Vinyls all on the top at either side. New audio. Oh, wow. It is literally like a, it's a car garage now. And some new tyres. It's quite nice, you can come up and get quite close to the uh, items as well. Four different tyres. Go faster! I like the audio as well. I like it, it's done a really good job. Hey, there you go, you got some mega lube, get yourself down to Drayton Manor. <laughs> Test seats up there as well. All from racing cars and stuff. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, this is actually loads better than it was before inside. It's just a shame the exterior lets it down a little bit, really. Okay, you got this car being sprayed, is it, at the top? Yeah, I'm not an expert in cars, as you can probably tell. Petrol, motor oil. It's a lot brighter in here now. And in my opinion, it's actually a lot better. This has got a nice, slick design to it. This is quite nice, little stools looking over there. And they've got rid of all the queue line in terms of having the, the bars all the way down. Now it's just got the chain. Not sure how that's going to be during all the school trip season, but still. Still got them on the wall when it was Ben 10. This car's quite cool. Good to see theming improvements, though. They can do theming really well when they want to. I just hope that in the next few years, we get a major new thrill ride. And if it's got theming like this, then I'll be really pleased. Look at that. Very impressive. So what, you got two half a cars and one full car. And this is quite a good theme in here as well. I like it, you know, they've recycled what Ben 10 was, but they've made this a bit more of an original theme, which is nice. I like it, it's just the exterior I don't like. All different car plans. Still got the screens up there as well, when that was Ben 10. Accelerator, changing velocity, so a bit of stuff to read in the queue line for when you're waiting. Cool. Unfortunately, there's no on-ride filming allowed at Drayton Manor, um, so I won't be able to take you on board, but I'll be showing plenty of off-ride shots uh, throughout our day at the park. I'm impressed with that, it looks loads better.
I'm quite impressed with what they've done with Accelerator. The indoor queue line's fantastic, as you showed just from the footage. And in terms of the ride itself, uh, it's still a good family coaster. I just wish that they'd painted up all the track on the outside, maybe done something with the steel corrugated sheds that you see around here. Struggling to say corrugated then, wasn't I? Corrugated sheds. Uh, but overall, it looks good what they've done. It'd be nice to see them paint the track and the supports uh, and do a bit more work on the outside. The trains, I know it's always hard. You've got to really go back to the manufacturer with trains. Unless they maybe get some sort of spray paint on it, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not technical like that. Uh, but overall, I think it looks good. What they've done on the inside is a lot better than it was before. And hopefully, in the long term, they'll do something with the trains and the exterior. So don't just judge it uh, by the front cover. That's the one with this one. Anyway, a lot of work is going on over here at Pandemonium as well. This seems to be having even more work done to it. They're painting up all of Pandemonium there. Of course, it's got a bit of a steampunk feel to it, this ride. Uh, they've redone all the op cabin and, and the sign just here. This was all like purple and green before. That's now being painted red. So there's quite a lot of work going on at Drayton Manor, as always, really, over winter. And hopefully it won't be long until this is back open. You can see it's all buried off at the moment just here. Uh, not quite as glamorous barrying off as Storm Force 10. But in general, Looks like there's no, no sort of upgrades to the ride, but it's just been painted up and looks a lot better. Uh, so I'm sure when we next come and do a vlog here later on in the year, uh, we'll be able to see this in action and have a go. It's not one of my favourite flats there. There is some fantastic flat rides here, those such as Apocalypse and Air Race. And it's good to see the Flying Dutchman back for this year as well. Uh, that had construction boards up around it towards the end of last year. Uh, and that's been completely repainted, all the boats and the top there. You can tell they've done the wood in the middle. And overall, that looks a lot better. Anyway, time to go and do one of my favourites now. It is one of my favourite drop towers out there in the world, and it is, of course, Apocalypse, a fantastic interim drop tower here at Drayton Manor, and some exciting news regarding this this year as well. Now, Apocalypse here at Drayton Manor is one of my favourite rides out there. I do really enjoy it. And I think a lot of people underestimate this ride. Of course, it's an interim drop tower. It's got to stand up and sit down. And you look at it and you think, you know what? It's not actually that tall. This is one of the most forceful drop towers I've ever done. I absolutely love it. I actually think it's a lot more forceful than Hurricane Condor at Port Aventura. Uh, it's a lot taller, obviously, Hurricane Condor, but this just has more force to it. I do really enjoy it. The good thing about Apocalypse for this year as well, any fans of the right one there, of course, you've got the standard stand-up with four. You've got two towers there. You've got three and four. Then you've got one and two on that side that are the sit-down. Uh, this year, I had it confirmed that Tower 5 has been fixed. Hey, there we go, you've got some more staff on here now as well. We had a bit of a queue gathering just. Yes, Tower 5 has been fixed, so it means now, uh, hopefully, I believe after Easter, this is going to be back open. We'll be able to get back on Tower 5. And there it is, it's still bagged up at the moment. But over winter, they actually had a crane in and they sorted it out all at the top, just up there. So it means we're going to have full operation again on Apocalypse. It's been off for two seasons now, Tower 5, so hopefully, next time we come down here, we'll be able to get on it and give it a go. Of course, that is stand up without floor. Uh, so if you look on that side just there, you can see it's got the floor underneath. This one here, you are literally, your legs are dangling on this one. So it'd be good to get back uh, on that at some point. Right, let's get on. Welcome to Crump Camp. Here he is, the milkman. And he now works at Drayton Manor. There he is. Oh, that's it, come on, get him closed up. Here he is. <laughs> Mr. Alex Crump himself. So if you want to see him, get down here to Drayton Manor. I know most of us work at Alton Towers, but he's down here at Drayton Manor. Here he is. <laughs> He's making sure them jugs are full of milk over there, look. Yeah, he's got one. I need about six power for me. Hello. Hello. Hey. I've seen them all the while on YouTube. So yeah. look at this, this is funny. Are you <laughs> keeping them jugs full? I'm keeping the jugs nice and full. That's all right, yeah, make sure you keep them full of milk over there. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, that's the big surprise. You want to come and see Alex, he's here at Drayton Manor. Drunken barrels, haunting, keeping keep them jugs full. Two jugs of milk. <laughs> so funny.
Great to see Alex working here at Drayton Manor. Make sure you call him down and see him throughout this season. So another ride that he's going to be working on is the Haunted, and this is one of my favourite attractions here as well. Last year, it had a lot of refurbishment work done to it. They completely redid some of the scenes, new audio, all sorts of storyline enhancements, all down at Drayton Green Vickery. So they got rid of the tacky feel that this ride had uh, and gave it a new lease of life. Of course, you've got projections in here now. It looks absolutely fantastic uh, what they have done to it. So I'm going to go back in and see how it is this season. Have we had any more enhancements done to it? Have they kept up with the maintenance over winter? Is it going to be as good as it was last year? There was a lot of new effects what they put inside here, of course. Hopefully, they're going to have kept it on top of this. And uh, yeah, it's the first week of the season, so I'm hoping this to be nice and fresh and everything still be working like it was last year. So I'll let you know when I come out after we're going to Ripper. Research into paranormal activity. There's an investigation in progress. Let's go and see how it looks inside. Ooh. Hello. Say hello to the viewers on Theme Park Worldwide. What did you think of the changes in the haunting? <laughs> on a serious note, I've just come off the haunting, and you know what? I'm really impressed. Drayton Manor have kept on top of that. It was looking really good inside there. Uh, they've even done a couple more enhancements. So if you didn't realise, it's a Vacoma Madhouse. Uh, it was getting quite dated. Need a lot of work doing to it, and they've completely there you go. He said hello now. Uh, they've completely refurbished it for last year. What they've done for this year, in the second scene where you're watching all the projections and things on the ceiling, they've now added a couple of spotlights in there as well. So it means when the two mirrors come in towards you when you're looking at the side, uh, you get to see what are these birds doing <laughs> you get to sort of see the spotlight reflecting towards you now uh, which is really good so they've added them in on the left hand side shining down and uh, that's a quite nice little effect what they've added in there but apart from that no other changes but it's good to see they've kept on top of everything I uh, just want to talk about smoke there was more smoke inside there than I've ever seen before probably more smoke in there than I've ever seen inside a dark ride uh, it's really good there must have been about three or four smoke machines uh, there was some in the main chamber itself in the chapel uh, where the actual madhouse is uh, there was some in all the different scenes in this corridor with the skeletons, there was so much smoke in there. I've never seen anywhere near as much an attraction. Uh, but it's really good to see Drayton Manor keeping on top of that. And it's been a very positive vlog so far. Lots of changes around the park uh, and lots to go and see. But uh, yeah, I don't think he has been on the haunt in there. Quite a few changes uh, inside the zoo, I believe, as well. So I'll have a little walk around the zoo before I go and see the other rides. Of course, we're going to check out the new ride in Thomas Land, go and have a look at that. Uh, and of course, go and have a ride on some of our favourites as well, such as Maelstrom, uh, G-Force. Not really one of the favourites, but we're going to have a look at that and of course Shockwave. So one of the first changes to notice in the zoo is Toto, who has now gone uh, from Drayton Manor Zoo to make way for a brand new enclosure. Now Toto has been here for a long time, uh, almost 50 years ago it says on there. Uh, he's still alive and he's been taken to a new home at the Wales Ape and Monkey Sanctuary, which is located in South Wales. Uh, hey, we're coming in the next couple of weeks, we've got some brand new animals coming to the zoo. There you go, one male and two females from Zub Dublin Zoo, expected April 2017, so it's going to be interesting. I'm not too sure how to pronounce what they call, comment below with this one, I'm bad at reading all people's names, never mind this, but uh, Sulawesi Ma Maquas or something, I'm not too sure, but that's what's coming anyway. Uh, critically endangered, so that's what's coming to this enclosure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it was time for Toto to go, to be honest, uh, ever since his partner died back in 2005, I think it was, uh, he's been on his own in the enclosure, so it's good to see that they've uh, thought about that. And of course they've done some nice work all around the side here as well. In terms of the zoo, it looks like they're really trying to spend some money and, and update it, which is good, and planning for the future. Of course, last year, we did show you all these different concept arts, what they put up on the wall over here. So it's good to see they've got more of a long-term plan for the zoo. Um, so we'll have a little look around and see what else is going on. New fence as well, hashtag new fence.
gonna get to him. Yeah. 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 Great to see the upgrades to the zoo then here at Drayton Manor. So I thought we'd have a look at the new ride for this year. Now Thomas Land has gone through a lot of enhancements since it first opened. Believe it or not, it was nine years ago since this area was put in. I remember the old Robinson's Land when I was a kid. Uh, but yeah, this area has been fantastic. Of course, it's had many expansions over the years. Uh, you had the Winston's Monorail that was put in a few years ago. And then a couple of years back, you had this massive expansion over the back. If you remember, the Jeremy Jacks used to literally just be here uh, on this circle. And this was the back of the area. Now, of course, you had all this back area that was put in two years ago. And then for this year, they've added even more. A brand new ride, James and the Red Balloon, which I believe is located just around to the right of this area. And there it is just over there. It's a small little children's flat ride. Always good to see little enhancements being made here at Drayton Manor. It has definitely got the best variety of rides for children and families here in the UK. There really is so much. Uh, so many rides and tracks. I'm not sure on the exact number of rides there is inside Thomas Land, but it must be nearly, what, 20 rides or something silly within Thomas Land? Now there's a lot. Uh, if you include all the little experiences and things as well, there's so much to see. There you go, James and the Red Balloon. So if you remember, this was literally just a picnic area since it opened, uh, when this expansion opened two years ago. Now they've added another flat ride just here. It's not massive, but it's nice what they've done to it. Nice theming. There's a little cabins, and then you've got James just over here as well. Obviously, the station was all put in a couple of years ago when they built the expansion, and I assume they had a long-term plan and thought, right, we're going to leave this space empty for it. It was quite a big space here, so you can tell they obviously planned for this a couple of years ago. And they've just added the little tunnel in there with the train coming out, and then you can get on James and have a photo. I still love Thomas, I'm such a big kid. There's the balloon, you have a photo in that. Yeah, what a fantastic family area. I'll show you a few off-ride shots of the new ride going round, just so you can get an idea of what it's like. So much to see though inside this area, there really is. It puts a lot of the theme parks to shame when it comes to children's rides. Drayton Manor really does have more than any of the others. Here's some shots of the ride in action. Enjoy Maelstrom, it's a fantastic intimate gyro swing here at Drayton Manor. And I do look forward to getting out to Leesburg in the next couple of weeks and trying out Loki. Their version of it is a little bit bigger than Maelstrom, and I can't wait to get on that and give it a go here on Theme Park Worldwide. It's my first time back at Leesburg in two years. Me and Martin are heading out there. I can't wait to get on Aero Spin. That was the new ride last year, manufactured by Gerslauer, and that's a Sky Roller. And also get back on Helix, Balder, and all my other favourite rides at the park. She Force is one of my least favourite rides here at Drayton Manor, but at least they have done something in the queue line. That's the update of these, so they've got the projections back on, they've got a bit of a POV going on, uh, mixed in with some of the random shots that I'm not too sure about, of a plane. <laughs> then you've got a dragster, mixed in with G-Force. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Then a shuttle launch. But I'll go and give it a go, and let's see how it is this year. <laughs> bit of different music in here as well.
just come off G-Force. I'm not going to talk much about it. You know my thoughts on that ride. I'm not a massive fan at all. Uh, however, Shotwave, I do really enjoy. Stand-up coast here at Drayton Manor. But unfortunately, it's closed. It was open first thing this morning, but I didn't come over here first because I started at Accelerator over at the other side of the park. Uh, but yeah, there's a member of staff out the front at the moment and it is closed, but as you can see just, it's been testing. It's been stopped on the lift hill for about an hour. So hopefully, It'll open up this afternoon and I'll be able to get back on it. If not, I'll be back down here in a few weeks anyway. Like I said, I've got a season pass for Drayton Manor. £70 for a season pass for Drayton Manor, which I think is really good value, to be honest. There's quite a lot of good rides here, especially the flat rides, the likes of Apocalypse, Maelstrom, Air Race, which I'm going on now. So there's some really good rides, and it is worth definitely getting a season pass, especially if you're local. Uh, and Shotway, as long as it's not one of my favourite coasters, uh, it's definitely the better out of the two larger coasters here. So, right, I'm going to go over onto Air Race. Give that a go. Really enjoy this Ampurla Air Race. Just needs a bit more audio around Drayton Manor. I think that's the thing where they're lacking a little bit now. I just think it had a lot more atmosphere around the park, especially on a quieter day like today, if they added some music all around. But apart from that, having a really good time and I'm enjoying all the work taking place uh, around the park. And it looks like, actually, they've done quite a bit of work since this morning over on Stormforce 10. So after this, I'll have a look over there uh, and see what's going on. They've just come off Splash Canyon, a fantastic Intamin Rapids ride here at Drayton Manor. Having a really good day so far. Just spotted this over at the side, it's the Drayton Queen, the boat, what normally goes around on the lake just here. I do enjoy these little transport rides. Of course, they've got both of them being off today. The Polpire Express, uh, which is the train that runs down here, that's closed due to the work that's taking place on Stormforce 10 because of the scaffolding over the track. Uh, and the Drayton Queen's just off for extended maintenance at the moment as well. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. It's quite interesting seeing that out of the water. Not seen it out there before. Hopefully that's going to get a bit of a repaint as well. It looks like it needs one. Uh, it'll be good to get back on that when it opens again in a few weeks here at the park. In terms of Stormforce 10, it looks like quite a bit has changed since this morning when we had a little look. So I'm going to head down there now. It looks like they're actually taking down the bridge that I showed you right near the start of the vlog. Uh, it looks like that's actually been taken down. So whether a new bridge is going to go in or uh, they're going to put a new queue line in, I'm not too sure. But you can see from around the back just here actually as well. If I zoom in up to the top where the workers are, all that section there is the queue line, what led inside. That looks like it's been taken out. So, suggests to me maybe we're either going to have a new entrance somewhere else or they're redoing the bridge. But didn't think there was anything up with the bridge, really. I think we might be seeing a new entrance for this one. Not too sure where it's going to go because obviously there's quite a lot inside that main station building. But it's definitely one to follow. That's definitely coming out there, that is. Let's go and have a look around the other side and see what has happened there since this morning. Also just noticed whilst I was walking around there, it seems like they're replacing part of the lift hill as well, which is quite interesting to see. Have a little zoom in just there. Great to see all this TLC being done though to Stormforce 10. Hopefully it'll be a lot more reliable when it works. May as well come on the cable car and get a better view of what's going on because we go right past it. There you go, I'm on the same level as it now. You can clearly see the bridges coming out there and all the work is going on there. Yeah, it looks a bit rotten down the bottom as well, doesn't it? All the scaffolding around the back and you can see a clearer view there of what's going on around the side where the queue line used to go. Yeah, that looks like it's all coming out around there. So it'd be interesting to see what they do in terms of work. Do you like a ride on the cable car though? 
It's a very picturesque part of Drayton, man. I would love to see another major coaster on this site just there. I was really hoping that Drayton were going to pull something out of the bag for 2018, to be honest. Of course, uh, with Blackpool Pleasure Beach construction 2018, SWA to Alton Towers, I was really hoping they'd pull something out big. So we've got the three parts that competed with each other in 1994. Uh, of course, you had Nemesis at Alton Towers, uh, the B&M Inverted Coaster. You had an Arrow Hyper Coaster uh, down at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for 94. And of course, Shockwave, the stand-up coaster as well. Uh, so yeah, it was a good year 94. I was kind of hoping 2018. Hello! <laughs> I was kind of hoping that 2018 was going to be a bit like 94 all over again, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that way for now. Drayton letting us down there, but uh, give these a wave on Apocalypse anyway. Hello! <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Drayton do some good refurbishments, but I do think they are saving this site here. I love to see a massive new thrill coaster on here. The old fish and chip shop down below, what closed down. All that space there where they could put a massive new coaster. So let's see what happens. The future's bright. Of course, the hotel, what we was put in quite a few years ago now. Uh, yeah, that, that's gone down very well. It always seems to be busy. A lot of cars on the car park. Being so close to Birmingham as well. Obviously, they get a lot of conferences, weddings, all that kind of stuff. It's not just the theme park that keeps that hotel surviving. So it's good to see. I just hope that the uh, future is going to be bright. a few more re-rides here at Drayton Manor. I went on the Dodgems three times. I thought I'd come over and have a look at Buffalo and see what they've done for this year. And it's still running half of the train compared to how it used to be. This is a really, really old power coaster now. But it's still running here at Drayton Manor. I thought this was going to go years ago, but it's still going. It really surprises me. So I'm talking a little bit about turnstiles as well. I know Harry Turnstiles isn't here, but last year they updated all the turnstiles and got these brand new ones. We haven't even had these Alton Towers, I want some. <laughs> but yeah, look at these, half the train on Buffalo. It's the back half of the train. I'm sure it was the front half of the train before. Yeah, we definitely got the back half now. So obviously that used to be, well, that Indian there was sort of in the middle and then you had up more on the front. Very interesting. I'm going to go on and give it a ride, but I can't believe it's still standing. It's a childhood classic of mine, this one. I'm sure it's a childhood classic for lots of people for how many years it's been here. Still keeps going there at Drayton Manor. So many changes. I feel like today's vlog's just been full of changes here at the park. And in my eyes, that's a good thing because it's always good to see the park improving and doing lots of updates. I look forward to coming back. Next vlog I do for me will probably be next month. We'll go have a look at a look at Storm Force 10 and see what we've done there with the refit. So can I have a few more rides uh, here at Drayton Manor having a really nice day. I'll see you a little later on. So half an hour later and 10 rides on Apocalypse Stand Up, I'm going to do something here at Drayton Manor that I quite enjoy. It might be quite a poor dark ride, I'm not a massive fan of it at all. And I might be here on my own today, so it might not be quite as much fun. But I'm going to go and get a bonus on the Cold Nugget as Wild West Shootout. Let's go. Da, 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 da. You've got a bonus. Here we go, I'm on the Wild West Shootout. Let's see if we can get a bonus. I need to try and hit something first. I'm not really good at these shooting games. Come on. I'm sure nothing works here. Oh, we got 200 points somehow. 
I don't know why I'm shooting that, I was going to do shoot. Oh, there we go. I don't know we're going to be getting a bonus today. I think what this dark ride needs is some walls. I say it every time I do a vlog from here. But if it had some walls just to separate the scenes, it would be so much more enjoyable. Hey! You got a bonus! Hey! I got a bonus! <laughs> That's what we come on here for. We're going to get the bonus, get the three cans. Hashtag you've got a bonus. Let's get the bow. Hey, that car got a bonus. Oh. That was already down. Love it. State-of-the-art animatronics. They're getting loads of bonuses in front. Come on. Let's go with these cans here, see if I can get a bonus. Hey, you got a bonus. <laughs> I love it. Going towards the end of the day here at Drayton Manor. And it's been a really good one. I might have been on my own today, but I've really enjoyed it. Sometimes it's nice to get away from the hustle and bustle and just have a day out on my own. You got a bonus! If you want to get a bonus, just get this man twice, look. One, two. You got a bonus! Get him again. <laughs> you got a bonus! <laughs> Never gets old. You got a bonus! Just having a look in the gift shop at the Hauntings exit, and look at this, we finally got a new mug. The Drayton Manor, there you go, it's got Storm on there. G-Force, Apocalypse. There you go, that was quite good. Price is just six pounds. Quite expensive for a 2D mug, it would have been nice if it was 3D. I'm not complaining, we've got a bit of new muggage. That's what we like to see, pop that back. This is like the new mascot of the park here as well, he's priced. They're just eight pounds. Inside here, some key rings as well. It's quite nice. It's good to see the family getting a bit of merchandise. These are reduced two pounds as well. And yeah, a bit of merch paradise for you at Drayton Manor. Happy about the mug though. It's a lot better than these ones that we've had for a while. Not a big fan of those. I've got a haunting plastic one from years ago. It must have been about 10 years ago when I bought it. But yeah, that's a step in the right direction. Let's just get one for Apocalypse now. I did show you the exterior earlier on, but I've just walked into the Neptune's arcade and it's been completely refitted inside as well. Brand new floor, done all the portals on the top there as well, so it's got some good theming. Hopefully it'll mean it's a bit more attractive for people to come in here now. Looks loads better than it did before. All these little improvements. Looks a lot nicer. So after five rides on Apocalypse Stand Up and 15 minutes stuck on Drunken Barrels, thanks to Alex, that's the end of my day here at Drayton Manor. It's been fantastic. I enjoyed seeing all the changes what they made across the park for this year. It was good to get back on Apocalypse. Unfortunately, Shotwave didn't reopen after this morning, uh, being stopped on the lift hill, but hopefully I'll be back soon and I'll get on that. Like I said, I've got a season pass, so I'll be down here quite a bit this year. In terms of other changes, the Dodge looks great, the new arcade. Stormforce 10, that reopens in May, so next time I'm back down here, hopefully that'll be back open so I can go and have some re-rides on that. In general, I'm impressed 
impressed with what I've seen in Drayton Manor today. It's been really good. Great to see some familiar faces here as well and speak to quite a lot of the management team at Drayton Manor. Uh, they are great people here and they really do care about the park. It's nice how it's, you know, there's a family owned park. It's not owned by a massive corporation like Merlin. They can make the changes they want to, they can do what they need. And overall, it's been a really good day. Very impressed with the new ride in Thomas Land as well. That's nice. Uh, You've got a little smoke effect and that coming out of James, uh, which looks really good. So I'm impressed with it all. Fantastic day at Drayton Manor. And thank you very much for watching this video here on Theme Park Worldwide. Now, we're going out to Port Ventura tomorrow. Me and Charlotte are out there for four days and we'll be filming three vlogs. Our first ever travel vlog on Theme Park Worldwide. We'll then have a vlog from the opening day of Ferrari Land at Port Ventura and then a video from the main park at Port Ventura itself, including my beautiful Shambhala that I can't wait to get back on. It's been a year and a half since I've been there. Uh, it's going to be great. Thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later, guys.